This game thinks they could delay their notices until almost 3 a.m. in the morning while I'm editing a video that takes me hours. It may be almost 5 a.m. in the morning, but I'm YouTube grinding. So anyway, if in case you're not aware, we have this upcoming limited scene on coming up, but not element, Cool Nightly Breezes. And let me just say, I love her art. Like the Max Limerbrook artwork just looks so fantastic. But anyways, like I mentioned, she is limited, so she will not be coming back unless something special is going on. We haven't had that in a while, and the couple times that we did there's only really one good banner well, what i'm basically saying is get her while you can if you want her let me just say she seems promising but i think i would recommend waiting first and i'll explain in a little bit so of course step one and three 50 off step five and seven you have a guaranteed four star but it's a 50 chance of getting the scene on and of course on step eight you have a 1.5 times higher chance of getting a four star when you do get a four star it should be seen on or someone new all right so of course she's a bay now if we look at her stats she has some very high magic attack considering she also has enhanced mode but the thing that much sucks for her is her speed 307 is very slow now the last time we had a non-element banner it was hero yuki and princess asuna they both were limited as well but they were physical hitters in this case this one's a magic attack hitter and the last magic attack non-element banner was back in new year's of this year so magic attack uh isn't too big of a problem if you had the new year's adis and alice they could form a good team so let me just say if you do get this scene on do not level that break or that enhanced mode deal less break try to get guard break five don't level enhanced mode use enhanced mode more you can use your incarnate more don't make the mistake i did it happened again on the win element ranking i could have done eight incarnates but ronier had her enhanced mode level once i messed up so anyways her break is a strong magic attack on a single enemy while raising her own magic attack by seven percent although it's not everyone there is a reason that this could be good and i'll explain it a bit now her assault magic attack x strong while also putting a magic attack by herself for seven percent and of course enhanced mode it makes your skill stronger but it does cost more mp and let me just say not leveling up enhanced mode your skills are still strong the only difference is that you will lose enhanced mode much more quickly but that's a good thing so after you say incarnate and you have a cooldown enhanced mode counts as putting down the cooldown so you can use incarnates more often anyway she also puts a magic attack by 10 percent on herself and then her incarnate skill under the streaming fireworks clematis are saying that right incarnate magic attack on a single enemy damage increases by 15 percent when your magic attack buff is 15 percent or more and another additional 15% when your buff is 30% or more. And when she's in enhanced mode, nothing really changes, just her skills are stronger. Her imaginary magic attack increased by 3% for unlimited amount of turns, and then crit damage by 15% for 2 turns. Her special partner is Leafa. Her leader skill 25% extra carnage in the beginning of the battle, and member skill for magic attack non-element party members increased by 1. And then of course, incarnate combo and break stack. Now what does all of this remind you of? This one this one right here magic attack damage increase 50 percent when magic attack buff 50 percent or more it's the same with the other puts a magic attack on herself enhance mode too the only difference though uh she was faster she had 319 speed in the beginning while the xenon has a very disappointing speed of 307 now why is speed so important speed determines the amount of turns the xenon can have as well as her placement when you start the battle so the higher the speed the higher chance she could be used at the very beginning. Now, for example, if she had recollection field, you want that character to go first, right? That way you can put a recollection field for all your characters and they can deal the max damage. How do you do that? They need high speed. 320 speed 321 and there's also a likely chance with high speed that they can go again like way later so they'll have more turns but the lower the speed that they have the less likely you'll be using them because they're slow so i imagine with this scene on if you're trying to do eight total incarnates for your ranking events it's going to be very difficult but if we ignore the speed part this scene on i could feel is going to be definitely insane for non-elements especially if you have a team with the new year's alice and adis there is no doubt in my mind that i know she can deal as much damage as as idol leafa and in case you didn't know idol leafa had the potential to deal 2 million damage i myself when i used her i think i had at highest like 1.5 5 million damage or 1.7 i think 1.5 and now the xenon is also pretty good because of her break but like i mentioned the problem would be her speed but it's still very useful so now like i mentioned earlier if you should scout on her immediately or not i did recommend that you should wait you should wait to see what they do next week for all we know it can either be a recollection field character or even a buffer or next week could just be another blank week now we could have a leafa because of the special partner being leafa but i could feel sylvie come 
coming soon. We have so much story about Sylvie. We learn about how her parents died and that she wants revenge on Bercoli, but Bercoli's already, you know. But I can feel Sylvie coming. She has to come soon. But will I be using all my diamond cues for the scene on? I might do step one for the video and then I'll wait to see what happens next week. There's a chance it'll be charged and I don't really need a charge unit. This also gives me a chance to get rid of this scene on. And you never know, they could bombard us with like some insane unit next week as well. So honestly, I would wait till next week to see what they do i wouldn't go all in for immediately if you need her she's just another damage dealer and if you don't need another damage dealer you don't need the scene on but we're gonna end off this video here thank you so much for watching this video i saw the all in all is bleeding if you guys enjoy why not leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new and if you want to join i have a discord at the bottom of the description click on the link and you're sent right to my discord but thank you so much for watching my name is Kaz. i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you guys all again in the next video goodbye it should be tomorrow with the scout